Hey, happy Sunday. How you guys doing? Welcome to Keto Cooking with Love today. How's everyone doing? It's been a great week. An amazing Hope week. you're ready for what we got in store for you. There we go. There we, we are go. live. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook. If you're joining us, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing amazing. We have a beautiful fall, crisp yes. day. It's crisp. hot. It's hot and chilly, but we got the grill back here keeping us warm. And so with that in mind, we thought we was gonna heat things up with a nice keto Caribbean feast. Yes. How does that sound, Ooh, my love? Yes, I can't wait for the ceviche. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so, first. But first, before we get into first. that, like every week, we're gonna start with a, with a healthy libation, okay? And again, if you do not partake in drinking alcohol, you can make a mocktail of everything that we do. Uh, you can serve it to anyone who doesn't drink alcohol. You can serve it to kids and follow the exact same recipe just literally omit the alcohol. So this week we made a ginger rum punch, all right? To keep with our Caribbean island theme, all right? So my love is filling up our and glasses. As always, we always start and with your usually, signature drink. Exactly, we, we made this in advance because this rum punch, you really want it to sit and all, all the flavors macerate and develop. So, who's on? That's, that's, that's us, we're on. Hey, happy Sunday. If you're just joining us, we're kicking off our keto Caribbean party. We got a, a, a delicious ginger rum punch. And this we is made gonna it. warm us up today, because yeah. today is Christmas today. Uh, we although made it the in sun advance. is out and it's a beautiful thing. You're warming me up, mommy. <laughs> uh, and so we made it in advance. Our ginger rum punch has ginger, all right, that we muddled, all right? We diced up and, we, and then we muddled. We threw in there because we like to spice things up. We threw mm. in there some habaneros because we're making ceviche. And I we said, why don't we make it nice and, and spicy. spicy? That's right, that's what you did say. And uh, so we threw some chilies in there to spice it up, but that's completely optional. If you don't like spicy, you can omit the chilies. And then we added, we made a little bit of hibiscus syrup that you've seen us make week after week for different recipes for our margarita. And the longer you let it sit in there, the better, the better. it's gonna get. This week, I'll show you what we used. So we, we did a little hibiscus syrup right for a little bit of color we just used a little bit of that we made a ginger syrup okay with our swerve all right and like i said you can use any keto friendly uh sweetener that you like we happen to be using welcome swerve. Berto. welcome hey, yes hello, sunday yeah. fun day happy sunday <laughs> look forward to seeing you soon very soon and then it wouldn't be a rum punch without rum so we have some appleton rum here we added some mango and some orange seltzer to give it those tropical yeah, flavors. citrus yes. flavors and that's how we have here our delicious ginger, and we spiced it up with some habanero rum punch. We so, need some background music. I know, right? <laughs> we need a steel drum. Ooh, here, my love, that's for you. Thank you. And hopefully I get one of these chilies. Yeah. Oh, you sure did. You called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at oh. that. So we can share. Now, all right. Salud, happy Saludos. Sunday. Cheers, Saludos. my love. Cheers. Mwah. And Let's welcome. Taste. Who's joining us today? Hi, hi, Olga, my love. Hey, Olga, hi. how you Still doing? Still celebrating, girl. Still celebrating your birthday, <laughs> Libra season. That's right. Here, my love, taste it. Oh yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yes. You can taste the uh, what the else? Ginger. Are the, the, the habaneros, the yeah, yes. the peppers, a little, a little slight pronounced, and if you like it spicy, you can add more, but it, the, the the heat will develop. This sure will get us all nice and toasty mm. by the end of the show. Now, to keep with our tropical theme, as my queen alluded to, we're making ceviche today. If you're watching on Facebook, the recipes are down below. If you're on YouTube, we're going to upload them as soon as we're done because we can't figure out the live algorithm. We're still newbies, but thank you for joining us. And we're gonna make all of this live. Sometimes we skip over recipes, uh, but today we're gonna make everything live. Erica right Nieto, here in front welcome. Of you. She says hey. hi and hi, congrats. Saludos, gracias, you. Erica. Thank you. Gracias, gracias. Now, like my love said, I don't know. This is so good. I, I don't know if I should slow down and just take a straw to it. <laughs> we're gonna make, let me get this out of the way because I don't need this yet. Okay. Ding. So again, it's some, a Caribbean some, fest today. We're going to make some ceviche. You can see all these beautiful bright colors that we have here. Let me get my it setup, It is beautiful. Baby. You coordinated that very well, my love. Thank you, baby. <laughs> we got our bowls here. We're going to make two ceviche side by side. We're going to make a, a, a fish ceviche, and we're going to make a vegan ceviche. We know we have a lot of uh, vegans in 
in our community. Kisses, Olga, kisses. Of course, we want to share our moments and our days with everyone that is close to us and, you know, heartfelt here as well. Absolutely. So, to kick off the ceviche, we're going to make a fish ceviche. I happen to have halibut today. It's one of my favorite fish. But you can use whatever white, firm fish you like, cod, sea bass, grouper. So what's um, the difference of any of those fishes? So, do I mean, it's, it's really what we want for ceviche because you're going to add acid, which is going to break down the composition of the fish. Is you want a fish that's, that's firm, that's going to hold up to that so it doesn't become mush. So, so it today, doesn't have to be like a salty fish? No, no, cod you, is no. Salty so fish. salted cod, and a lot of us use salted cod because that's a way of preserving cod and then we rehydrate it. But today, you, can, you, you will use a fresh cod. So a fresh cod fillet, um, and there's different kinds of cod out there as well. That's a fish that you uh, get at your purveyor. Um, but today, like I said, we're using halibut. You can use cod. You can use group. Elizabeth, well, you know, it is a beautiful thing when the leaves are falling, but the yard is, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, girl. It's a the, lot of work. The leaves look much more beautiful <laughs> from the window of an apartment. <laughs> Not in the backyard where they just Absolutely. accumulate. <laughs> So we're going to make the ceviche, you can do it with fish, but if you're vegetarian or vegan, like many of our followers are. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. She says congratulations on our thank engagement. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. that. Appreciate it. It's been a whole week full of congratulations. Yes, and so yes. We're, Keep we're it very, going. We, we love it. We should have opened yes. by saying thank you to everyone that's reached out yes. over and over and over again. We appreciate that wholeheartedly. Absolutely. So for our vegan ceviche, we're going to be using hearts of palm, okay, which are absolutely delicious. And... Many times people don't know that, that uh, when you give them a, a vegan ceviche with hearts of palm, they don't even know that it's not fish. All right, so I'm gonna cut up everything. We're gonna Thank make you, this Josh. Right Josh, in front of you. Hercules is on. Hey, what up, Josh? You guys what up, are coach? Great together. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you, brother. Appreciate thank you. Love. Thank you. Appreciate it to everyone out there. So, we're gonna start with our aromatics for our ceviche. But you know what, my love? Yes. These, these limes, you juiced them already, right? They feel. Do you want me to roll some more? No, but what you can do is you can start cutting them in half. Yes. All right? And this is also a fun thing to do when you have guests. If, if your guests show up early, like sometimes they do, hey, you can just make it a ceviche party, have a drink. Know. Yes, baby. Use a serrated knife. Yes. There you go. Oh, you can just make it a ceviche thing. party it's and hang out, right through have, a, have some rum punch, and make some ceviche together. In the kitchen. Mm, that's delicious. We got the neighbors Can in the background. Can you imagine that? Have a drink over. and ceviche together. I don't know what kind of party that would be. <laughs> so, I'm going to start with our onion. We're going to use some red oh, onion. Baby. Yes, baby. Slice them all. All right? Not these, though. Just those. A girl and her knife. Yeah. <laughs> Slice them all. Think we We're going to start with some red onion. We're going to add some chilies in here. We're going to add some cucumber. All right? Let me get these ready do you want me to put them in this bowl yeah here? and then one trick that that i do to enhance the flavor we know that we're going to use citrus juice all right in the ceviche but one thing that i like to do to enhance all of those flavors is zest my citrus as well and that's going to add a beautiful depth of flavor no all, of the, llorando, amor. <laughs> all of the all of the essential oils of the citrus are in the the zest, and so when you use the zest, it imparts a lot, a lot of delicious flavor. So that's a little ceviche master chef flavor hack, all right? So I have some red onions here. These are gonna be for my vegan ceviche. Let me get some red onions for my halibut ceviche. And if you're just joining us, happy Sunday. We're so excited to see you and have you here with us in our kitchen. And we weren't running last minute either. Yeah. We were just like on point. For once, <laughs> I, for once we were relaxed. Point, the yes. family's coming over and we're excited about that. So, okay baby, we have them all. We have our up. red onions ready. Beauteous. We love those colors. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, this is gonna be like now. We Hi Adrian. The... Hey Adrian. This is How my you love. doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining in. Now, we've got our red onions, all right? To that, I'm gonna start adding some baby, citrus, baby. Yes, let me drain, no, that was mine, baby. This, no, oh yeah, you're right, you're right, I'm just a man. But I'm gonna sip yours because yours has some peppers. <laughs> <laughs> so yours is spicier. 
Mine's is, is technically yours. Hey, what's his is mine, right? <laughs> so for our vegan ceviche, we're gonna use hearts of palm. Mm. Let me get these so out. Good. Maybe can you tell the audience that just joined us what kind of drink we're having? Yes, we're making we made today for our Caribbean keto feast. We made a ginger rum punch. We infused it with some habanero, some chilies to spice it up because we like it spicy. We made a ginger syrup, a little bit of, of just a little bit of hibiscus syrup, and then we use some citrus uh, seltzer. We use today we use mango and we also use orange seltzer to infuse those those tropical flavors that you would normally do in a rum punch, like pineapple juice or orange and juice. And we actually um, combined these uh, prior to the beginning of the show, only so that we can enhance the flavors. Exactly, thank um, you. Yes, you're welcome. You, you want to, that's why she's my master sous chef. You want to make your rum punch in advance, at least five hours, to so allow all the flavors to macerate and melt together. And it's going to be nothing short of amazing. Oh, I miss Efrain Velasquez. Hey Efrain, Efrain yes. how you doing? Good Happy my Sunday. And blessings to you all. Blessings thank you, to thank you. you. Well. Thank Me you. and Efrain, we go back, <laughs> bro, like, like, like car seats, my love, <laughs> to the 80s. To the 80s. Now, I'm dicing up my hearts of palm. And if you're not seeing what I'm doing, all I'm doing is taking the heart of the palm. This is the heart of a palm tree that they cook down. It gets nice and tender. And then I'm just quartering it, slicing it in four, lengthwise, and then a little little pieces little dice and that's kind of the same thing that i'm going to do with the not kind of that is the same thing that i'm going to do with the halibut when we get to the fish and this is a vegan element. this is the vegan, vegan part ceviche. which you can have and and listen it's just as delicious you wouldn't even know the difference that it's vegan all right because there's nothing wrong with vegan food it's just the omission of animal products so mm -hmm. you get to enjoy a wonderful you know the wonderful bounty of, uh, of produce and vegetables that the earth has to offer. Now, I'm gonna start juicing some citrus here because we're gonna need that. Do you want but, me to get the uh, no, you know lemon what? juicer? I have, no baby. You wanna juice some lemons with your lemon juicer? Yeah. You love that? All I right, get it. it. I love making you happy. So you do that while she gets her lemon juicer because she loves that lemon juicer. I like to be barbaric and Neanderthalish and do it all with my hands. But she loves her lemon juicer and I love to see her happy. But, like I said before about enhancing our ceviche with some zest, so I have here my zester. You know, you can buy a little micro crane or zester. Just pour it in yeah. there, just sit it yeah. in there. And we're going to zest our limes. Go ahead, baby. Teamwork. We're going to zest our limes into our ceviche. Not only are we going to zest mm. lime into the ceviche, we're also going to zest... Let me know when. Go ahead. I'll keep telling you that. We're also gonna zest some lemon and some orange, okay? Because we wanna really get that impact, that fresh pop of fresh citrus flavor that's gonna make you feel like you're on a tropical island when you're on this like beautiful I said, we fall need day some of that, um, in South music Pennsylvania. In the background. We need we need a steel drum. We need to call Tony so he could play some soca. All right, now. Here we go. I'm gonna zip, pretty zest easy about, to yeah. Them, actually, it takes no time at all. You can get everyone involved. Let me know when, my love. Yes, my love. Keep going. Now I'm gonna zest some citrus into this one for our fish ceviche, which I'm about to finish cutting up our ingredients. Just a few more ingredients, and after we're done with bringing everything together, we're going to cover this. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Ooh just to allow the flavors to melt and to allow the citrus to soak into the fish. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Hey, Ali. Gang, gang. Family showing up. Beautiful. Do some lemon in there. And you wanna be careful when you're using this not to rip off your skin from your little knuckles, which I've done many times. Chile. We're doing a live cooking show. Hey, hey, what up, brother? How you doing? That's the beauty of being live. You our neighbors, say, yes. Our neighbors. <laughs> They're singing today. They are in tune. So, now I'm just going to zest some lime in here. Because like I said, I want to compound these flavors. My, my, there you go. My lime seed fell in there. 
just pour the juice in my eye, baby. I'm so sorry, my Are love. You? Are you? I doubt it. It's All the right. juicer. It's the juicer. Right, it was the look, juicer on more? the deck, on how the live. Oh, that's perfect, okay. my love. Now we're going to do that again. With this one. Yes, with okay. this one. And while you do that, I'm going to juice our oranges. Because we're also going to add some fresh orange juice in here. I like the sweetness of orange juice to balance out that tart tartness of lime. Uh, traditionally, you know, uh, ceviche is very tart, very acidic, very limey. And that's fine. It's delicious. I personally prefer just like a more balanced, rounded citrus flavor. So I like to add orange juice, Ooh, fresh squeezed orange good. juice into my bath of citrus. For those that are, are coming in and joining us now, I will get to your comments just shortly. Let yes. me just finish. Uh, but I'll fill you in on what we're doing. If you're just joining us, happy lines. Sunday. Welcome to Keto Cooking with Love. We started off with an amazing and delicious ginger rum punch, okay? There's love all over. There's love all over. We muddled some fresh ginger. Ooh, hey, girl, yeah, how you doing? You ready to drink? Beautiful. For real. Thank you. I had to do a little choppy chop. With your individual lashes. Yeah. Mine's are individual, too. Yeah. Oh, hi. Beautiful. How you doing? Hi, hi. Hi. Welcome. There's a million people watching. I would use a million to one. <laughs> we're making ceviche. Okay. We're making it two ways. We're making it with fish and we're making it with hearts of palm. Hearts of palm, vegan. Oh, yeah. All right. And we got some and jerk going on. I think you will on. love both. Both. Yeah. Both so flavors. my queen is juicing these limes. I got the orange in there. We got our citrus oh, zested, and then we just have a few more ingredients. They're gonna go in here. I'm gonna add some some cucumber for some bright vegetal crunch. We're gonna add some avocado in there because this is keto and we wanna enrich and infuse those healthy fats. I'm gonna add some ginger in there, okay? Um, and skin and all, like I'm gonna grate some ginger in there and this is gonna add more tropical mm. punch. Oh man. I love the smell of the ginger. Uh -huh. So skin and all, I'm just gonna grate and microplane some ginger Let me know straight in there. Look. A little more. A little bit, okay. We still have to add our ingredients, and we wanted to be submerged. Let me get a little more. Here's some, some juicy limes we got here on our set today. Just zest, grate some more ginger in there. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be so good. All right. Let me know when. Got one more. Perfect. Thank you, baby. You're so, and you see how quickly we did that. We juiced our citrus, zested it right here. We got our onions, we got our ginger. Pammy in there. just joined us. Hey, too. Pammy, happy Hola, Sunday. Familia. We love yes. when you're with us on Sunday, Pammy. We know you're very busy, and so oh, we appreciate Fernando. it. Oh, Fernando, it's been a long time. He's an old, old, old friend of mine. So he's hey, have a pizza shop around the corner here. Hey, Fernando, yes. happy Sunday. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Shayla. Hi, Shayla. Hey, Saludo, girl. Mama. Saludo. Morena. Saludo. Vamos para allá, yeah, oíste. Te veremos pronto. Super rápido. Okay, so I have some cilantro here. Vamos para el Ari, Ari, que no venga a buscar el capi. All right? So the family chiming in, which we love. We have some fresh cilantro here. And, so again, increase that fresh, delicious, herbaceous flavor and make all of these flavors pop. I have some fresh mint. Ooh. Smell that, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I like yeah. Especially some when fresh you mint. break them like yep. that, you Absolutely. get the aroma so, really quick. So we're gonna just, we're not gonna over chop the mint and bruise it up. I just ripped it off of the stems and I'm gonna slice through it one time. That's gonna go into our ceviche so elizabeth this is for you see the falling leaves <laughs> falling leaves all right we'll now it right there we got some we got to spice it up with some heat so i got some you can use some jalapenos some serranos whatever kind of chilies you like all right want to slice those and Tammy, up. let me know how that uh what is this she was gonna make a pizza the, uh, the cauliflower? cauliflower pizza yes, yes. we want to know. know how it comes out we want to uh, know pictures tag us Post your pictures. The revolution will be televised. 
All right, so I have my chilies here. I got them with the seeds and all. People take out the seeds, but you know what? The reason I'm, I'm adding chilies is for heat. So if you leave the seeds and the stems in there, you actually have to add less chili. So that's a money saving tip that I just shared with you right there. Don't de-seed and take off the stems from your chili peppers. That's time consuming and it defeats the purpose. And this way you just need less. Mammy, you'll just have to come over so we can make you the yeah, drink. Pam. <laughs> we got a few of those um, that you missed. <laughs> All right, so we have our herbs in here. We have our chili. We have, uh, I'm going to add a little bit more chili. Ooh, some spicy. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more. Let's, let's spice it up. Because we got some of these red chilies that we also added into our rum punch. And they want to join the party. Um, do we need this for... No, Mommy, you can put that over here on the tray. It's okay, you can leave it there for one second. Now, Ooh, this smells so good. This smells so good. There we go. Now avocado all right because you know we're about that keto life so we want to get some fresh avocado Pretty. look at that baby Pretty. hold this I'm now, how dice. do you take that knife yeah. and take that potato. so yeah you just want to and when you cut you don't want to push your knife down you want to slice through i'm going to dice this up right here you can start to spoon that into there baby you got a drink alex yeah I yes I do. amazing now we, we shared that on our keto tailgate party if you're making guacamole in advance you can keep these <clears throat> seeds and if you're making your guacamole in advance before your guests arrive, you keep the seed in there and it keeps your guacamole nice and you green. You want me to mix it No, in? just, just okay. dump it in for now. And this one and this one? or No, that one in okay. there. Thank you, Mommy. All right, so let's get the seed out of our house avocados. Put that one in there and then the other ones will go in the vegan. Okay. We're just about done putting together our this ceviche. Yes, my queen. Oh, in here. No, yes, oh. yes, you're yes, right. Okay. Yes, thank you. You're We're welcome. just about done putting together our ceviche. All I have to do is cut up that fish that's gonna go in our tropical ceviche for our carnivores or pescatarians. And our vegan ceviche is already ready to mix. All right. Beauty is. Here. Yeah, we'll to. Go across. No, no. There we go. You got to cut oh, inside the, the bowl. Train. The money train. It never stops. <laughs> We're gonna have to put it a booby trap. Any money, We're gonna have to put a booby <laughs> trap. All right, beautiful. So now the last thing I'm gonna do is cut up my fish. Let me clean up this area right here. So just uh, chiming in here to see who's yes. watching. Danessa Carreras, that's my cake girl. How you that doing, is Danessa? my cake girl. Happy that's Sunday. the go-to girl yes, when we, for when, our cakes. When we do indulge in carbs, it's, it's from Danessa's cakes. Can you kindly untwist this? Unsh yeah, just the like camera. The, see, that's the beauty of being live. Yeah, it's just the breeze, the wind. There you Thank go. Perfect. You. If you wasn't Got here, it. the whole world would be crooked. <laughs> now. All right, so ready? <laughs> I'm gonna eat crooked. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the whole world that's watching us, their, their view of the world of like keto this. cooking with love, it would be like a, we would be like the V8 of live cooking shows. You would have to watch us on a slant. Thank you, Ali. Now, we're about to cut up some fish Baby to finalize this ceviche. Yes. What you trying to do to me? Yeah. Mmm. 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 Get some heat there, my love. Mmm. Boy. We got our beautiful halibut fillet right here. So you you make this a seat? Ooh. Yes. Like, just so, like that. Good question. So you don't have to the, cook it. You just the citrus is going to actually cure the fish. So it's not going to be cooked with heat, like when you cook something on a grill or in a pan. It's going to be cooked with the acid of the lime of the citrus. citrus. Correct. Okay. You can use any citrus and you can use any acid, in fact, so it doesn't have to be citrus. If you were in an area where you couldn't get fresh lemons and limes, you could make a ceviche with a vinegar. It would be called salpicón, but it's something that they do in areas of South America where they perhaps, you know, may not have access at the time to fresh um, citrus. You can use it with vinegar and it's called a salpicón and it would do the same curing process. All right, so. I'm dicing up my 
halibut, which is going to go into our ceviche. Now, did, did we have this um, in halibut? February? Yeah, the yeah so one. we went to downtown in Fork. Okay. That's a pretty tasty fish. Yes. It's firm, it's delicious, it, uh, it takes on any flavor, so you can, you know, you can put any type of season in. You can make it Mediterranean style with some paprika, some cumin, some oregano, some lemon, you know, garlic. Now, if you were to cook this fish, right, mm -hmm. how would you cook it that it won't over? Cook. So you know, it, it looks like it's a thin fish. The, the thing about when you have really fresh fish, you can you can eat it raw, like especially if you just caught it. Um, so you could, it doesn't, it's just really to your taste. If you want your fish cooked through because that's the way you like it, then you absolutely want to cook it through. I would cook this fish about medium to just retain a lot of that nice fresh flavor and moisture. But that's a that's a personal preference. But you could you know you could eat it raw and it wouldn't as long as it's fresh. You know, you so, Pammy, it. we're using halibut. That's the fish that we are using for the ceviche today, halibut. Beauteous. Look at that. I'm going to get all this halibut in there. Can you use salmon? Um, so, yeah, so salmon is going to be much richer, but you can absolutely make a ceviche with salmon. You can use any fish that you like. Hi, Shade. Hi. Thank you How so you much doing? for your support. Um, you're a lovely person. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Now, this goes off camera. Appreciate you, yes. And that's it. We're going to season this with a little bit of uh, so this is our the, pink uh, Himalayan salt. The regular ceviche, and yes. this is going to be the, the vegan. This is the fish ceviche, and that's okay. the vegan. So I have a different spoon for that. So oh, you're gonna my Abby is going to love that vegan one. She had it. That's the one that she yes, had on our uh, Valentine's, right? Exactly. We had a, a okay, Valentine's dinner. Him, Just mix it up, get it all incorporated. Up some salt and some pepper. Get in there, get in there. Get the heart to palm from the bottom. Oh, I added the fish in here. <laughs> How smart was that? Okay, you just dump it in here. All right. No problem. Because it's right on the top. Hold up, I have to take off these avocados. I was like, where? She's going to get less avocado. Oh. Look at that. That's the beauty of cooking live. Where is the heart to palm? It was a blended family, my it's love. Literally, we're going to have to let them know that a fish carcass touch their vegan ceviche all right so just like that you put everything together and you guys were watching and didn't tell us <laughs> no we didn't read the comments they probably did all right beautiful so now everything's mixed together we're going to cover this up and we're going to chill it like i said you want to chill at least half an hour 45 minutes or you know the more that it sits the better it's going to be but after that time everything has come together it's homogenous i didn't have my cucumber in there but it's still gonna be as delicious. Let's add it, baby. Have All right. It. Yeah, let's let's do it. it. Yes, do it. Pardon me. There you go. Let's get the cucumber. So pretty. Um, right. I am gonna we get. We need a spoon. Um, we have little spoons in here, mommy, so we can taste it. Hold on. We have little spoons in here. Just be careful because I could cheat you. All right. So I'm gonna dice up some cucumber here. And we're going to put this into our ceviche. Now, while we finish this up, I'm going to start telling you about our next dish. We're about to get into some jerk. Now, I do have a jerk recipe that I use that I got from someone that I cannot mention because they worked in high places. And it's a very famous jerk recipe, so I won't be sharing that. Most of the time when I cook, I don't even make it. I just use some store-bought Jamaican jerk marinade. I use a brand Walker Wood. It's what I like. But if you have your own jerk that you prefer, absolutely feel free to indulge. We're just gonna keep it simple no, for the magic. No, no, not yet, baby. Not because yet. we have okay. to let this. We have to let this marinate. Okay, we're gonna so see that later. Yes, yeah. thank you, okay. thank okay. you. But yeah, as you can see, we brought. We have some chilled, some chilled martini glasses because later on, when we taste our ceviche, that's how we like to eat ceviche. We like to eat it in a chilled container. It makes it sexy. It keeps that nice cold temperature that you work so hard to achieve. And um, so we got the cucumbers here. This is going to go into our ceviche. Let me set this off to the side. Mm, look, I'm going to pass that seed. Comportate, Señor Jose Gonzalez. You're going to pass that seed. 
The Pongo Agresivo. So, happy Sunday. Thank you guys so much for joining us. You could be anywhere. Let's mix that together, baby. I'll do this one. Let me use this spoon yes. just in case. All right? Look at that. That's going to be beautiful. So, did you tell the audience to just join us what type of ceviche we're making? There's no, two types. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. How was that? Mmm. Really good, baby. I'm going to taste the fish one. This is the uh, vegan yeah, one? Yes, that's the vegan one. And then this is our fish. See how simple that was to make? Just a few mm. ingredients. Mm. <laughs> that's the ceviche dance, baby. <laughs> that's good. So we're going to get some of our cling wrap here. Baby, can you put that in here? The little the chili? Oh, chili, yeah. Yeah. Spicy, yes. We're going to cling wrap this up. That's delicious. We're going to, according to the instructions, press and seal. Of course, it never works the way it's advertised. We're going to wrap these up. We're going to refrigerate them. We're going to let them meld while we work on our other recipes. And then, woo! Come on, baby. Use some muscles. We're going to have a Use Caribbean, we're gonna have a Caribbean party on. all together. There you go. The muscle is for you. <laughs> now, baby, tell them what's coming next about this jerk. Oh, the jerk, is it the uh, salmon oh. with uh, coconut rice cauliflower, right? Coconut. Right? We got our jerk, we got our Jamaican jerk. So we're using a store-bought jerk seasoning, which is, the, there's no shame in that. If that's what you like, that's what we like. Um, and we're making jerk salmon. There you go, Adrian. Now we're using the salmon. All right. We're actually going to make a honey jerk glaze for our salmon. There is, today we're using a little bit of regular honey. There's about 17 grams of uh, carbs in a tablespoon of honey. So we're only using like about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. There is a vegan, uh, a keto, a keto honey out there that, that you can buy like on Amazon if you want to research that. But today we just happen to be using a little bit of honey. But like I said, we don't omit carbs 100% from our diet. We just manipulate them to keep us in ketosis. All right? So. Before we get into that, we got some eggplant. We're gonna make some jerk eggplant. Baby, you wanna slice them in half? I love these little things. Right? Aren't, Aren't they, they beautiful? So cute? We got okay, these from our. To, um, slice them in half maps. this okay. way, the long way. Yeah. And put them open face all there. Right. With the stem, right? Stem and all. I keep cooking your drink. Now, our we're, gonna, drink. we're gonna grill. That's right, baby. We're gonna grill some jerk eggplant. And we're gonna make some jerk salmon right here. Then we're gonna pair that with a coconut cauliflower rice, which takes just, it's so quick and, and easy and the most delicious coconut rice you ever have. So we're gonna start putting these here. Okay. Okay. So there face. is a such thing of uh, cutting, cause I'm just like, I just go yes. through, you know. So when you cut, cut, you wanna <laughs> slice. You wanna slice like a saw back and forth and not push down with your knife because then when you do get resistance, that's when you can have an accident and cut. Look, one more here. Yes. So let me grab our other ingredients. Now I've seen eggplants before, but I've never seen them. It's cute. Yeah, these are like, I think they're called Indian eggplants. So they're nice and small. There's lots of different kinds of eggplants out there. There's Japanese eggplant, Dominican eggplant, which are like a lighter, purpler, lilac, and then almost pinstripe texture. There's many different kinds of, uh, you know, eggplant out there. Like there's different kinds of apples, different kinds of grapes. So uh, venture out, go to a produce market, go to a farmer and see what you want. That's where we get them from. Yeah, so we can stop there, At baby. At the uh, produce market. We can stop there. Okay. And then we're gonna start to spoon. We have a smaller spoon here. Okay, there you go. All right, now you can start to jerk these up like this, mommy. Okay. All right, How's like the that. drink? It's good. <laughs> like? I can actually finish it today. I don't have to go to work. <laughs> ah, we love it. Ooh. <laughs> that, no, 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 the chef. Look, look, just tap oh, okay. it and keep just going. Just tap, tap, okay. Keep going. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, we're getting some jerk marinade on our eggplant, which we're about to grill up, and they're gonna be delicious. We're gonna make some jerk salmon. Before we get into the salmon part, we're going to 
make some cauliflower rice. All right, just tap and keep going. Don't press it on, just tap and keep going. Beautiful, like you. All right, now I'm gonna get some avocado oil on these. And again, you can use, you know, whatever keto oil you like. I like to use avocado oil because when I put this on a grill, it has a high smoking point. Lexi, you taking these, that tips? I am. my keto girl I'm is absorbing doing it all. really good with her keto. I'm absorbing it all. And she's got her <laughs> own little page going on. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell the world, tell the world. I like a to motivate and encourage people. Tell them, tell come over here, come over here. here and, and share your story <laughs> for those that so didn't is, see So this is my you. love's daughter. She's, yes. a, she's a, her firstborn. Why don't you tell them about your keto journey? Okay. Oh, yeah. So I started hey, keto um, last year. I was mm. getting ready for a trip to go to Mexico. And of course, that motivated me to um, to actually take it serious. And I actually lost 60 pounds doing Ooh. that. But then of course, you know, the holidays come and whatever the case may be, and you fall off. Everybody does it, we're, we're human, right? That's what we do. Um, but you just gotta get back on. So now I'm back on my journey. Um, I have an Instagram page where I'm documenting everything. It's called Keto Life with Lex. And if you just wanna follow me on my journey, um, you can go follow me on there. What is it again? Um, Keto Life with Lex. On Instagram? On Instagram. And, and documenting works because then it holds you accountable. Yes. So and when you hold yourself accountable, then you, you have to get motivated. You yeah. have other people to get you motivated. So yeah, when I feel like, when I know that other people are depending on me or like watching me because I'm motivating them, it just pushes me harder. So that's what I'm working on. And it's a lot of positivity on there. So I share just a lot of and tell them that inspirational some, things. And someone else shared your, your page. Yes, and So yes. your pictures and your progress. Yes. So that's a beautiful yeah. thing. Her name is Girl with a Gut. <laughs> um, yeah, she did. She shared my stuff. And now I'm getting a bunch of followers, which is amazing. So yeah, this is exciting. So I'm definitely absorbing this. Um, it's beneficial that... You know that they have this keto cooking show because it works in my favor. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but you but you do your own amazing. I dishes. do my own dishes. You do some I good do. dishes, which I'll be like, wow, that yeah. is my daughter doing keto yes. dishes. Yes, I definitely amazing. do. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for that. Thank you. thank you. So now we are we got the, the jerk eggplant on the grill. Look at that. That's getting hot and hot and uh, steamy. We're about to make some cauliflower. Rice pilaf right here. I have to live right here, baby. Thank you. Hi, Mama. So, I'm going to get the our food processor again. Hi. So that my love can show you. Hey, Helena. Hi. So my love can show you again how easily we make cauliflower rice. We used this last week in our pizza party to make cauliflower crust pizza. We did this on the first episode of our Keto Cooking with Love when we made our Keto Paella. That's on our YouTube channel about that Keto Life mm -hmm. with, along with the recipe. Um, so if you want to make some paella and you can do a vegan version as well. Oh, baby, my muscles. Yes. My muscles are working really good today. You're just, <laughs> like, you're just I just on become a whole, Mark, the, You're just on a whole yes. other level, baby. So, let's see. <laughs> let's see. What the hell we did. No, me amor. Alright, so step one. Yeah. Step Funny. two. This is the cauliflower, alright? And just to show you how simple this is, I'm not even gonna use a knife. I'm just gonna break this up, this cauliflower, with my hands, just to show you how easy it is to rice let's, cauliflower. Yeah, let's, let's start with that, that yeah. so that it fits. Alright, take two. Remember, I just, yes. I kind of like. No, because my muscles. Your muscles. <laughs> your muscles. That's the beautiful cooking live. My baby does squats and deadlifts and pull-ups now. So, no cauliflower. We're just going to start. All right. No cauliflower. We're just going to All right. So, beautiful. Hold on. Hold on. And this is how simple it I is. I this thing. <laughs> <laughs> how simple it is to make cauliflower rice you could cut this up if you wasn't a barbarian te fuerte, baby, te fuerte. if you wasn't a barbarian <laughs> like we are you can cut this up with a knife absolutely i'm gonna check on my eggplant here Ooh. That's really so let me get my pan back on And on behalf of my daughter, for all of those that are congratulating her, thank you so much. You know, we have to support and motivate each other at the same time. Absolutely. So I'm gonna put this piece off here to the side because 
you've had your day. I'm gonna clear our board, baby. Okay. All right. Also, I'm sporting my new my new grill set. Thanks to our wonderful neighbor, Miss Rhonda. Hey, Miss Rhonda, if you're watching, <laughs> come over. Yes, she is. She I will got be us over this after the show. <laughs> she got this beautiful golf Hi, grill mom. set for my grill. So I got a putter. All right. Watch it. She's always looking out for him. Yeah, we love you. So I'm going to turn my eggplant here. Ooh, they're looking good. They're more. looking sexy. I'm going to use my... Yes. Turn my eggplant here. Have you tried making cauliflower rice yet? I can do it. Yeah. 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 So the audience says congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I love my cauliflower. I actually had some when I made the burrito the other day. Yes. I put some um, fajita seasoning mix in there so I, I can, I, so I can I make commented it more on filling. That, one. that was really good. Yeah. It looked really good. I'm still waiting for my pickle hole. I know. You know? <laughs> that is amazing. No. So if she went to this tried, place where they have Elsie's. Hoagies, but made out of pickles. So there's no bread. It's just pickles, Ooh. sliced in half, and they make and build a hoagie mm -hmm. in between. You know, for those that are not that, from huh? Philly, a hoagie is almost like a hero. But you know, New York says hero. Here we say hoagie. And it was amazing. And it was good. It looked it good. It was so good. <laughs> okay, me a morning. This is done. Where did I put my drink? So maybe we need to make some pickle hoagies. Right here. Right here. Should. Right here. Baby. Yes. That's Thank time. you. So we have our cauliflower rice. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. We'll get that out of the way. Beautiful. Okay. Get all this out the way. And now, to make our cauliflower rice, we have some. Where's the rest of my. Here we go. Ginger, garlic. We have our aromatic vegetables, okay? Today we're using ginger, garlic, and. Um, and some shallots. Like I said before, shallot is one of those culinary tricks that chefs use to make things sound delicious. Inga. Hey, Inga, uh, thank you. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you left it at. It was calling you. I was ready to just, you know, fill my drink up with that one. <laughs> There's fruit punch there in the you fridge if the kids want. You heard? Hmm? There's fruit punch there if the kids want okay. in, the, in the refrigerator. So we have our shallot here for Alexis our coconut rice looks pizza. great, Miss Rhonda says. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ms. Rhonda, I just told the world about our wonderful uh, grill set that you got us, our golf grill set. Thank you so much. We're using it today. We literally broke it out of the zip tie today, all right, for this joyous occasion. So I have some shallot here that I'm dicing up because, like I said, today we're going to actually make everything live. So you can see that from the time of this show, from beginning to end, you can make this wonderful Caribbean fest. The ceviche, the drink we did make in advance, yes, but that's only, only because that was only to make it better and because yeah, flavors. we want to enhance our drunkness. But, <laughs> but, so yes, the drink we did make in advance. But the meal, the meal you can uh, you can make very quickly. And if you didn't want to wait for the time for your rum punch to macerate, you can by all means just jump into the rum punch. All right now. I have my shallots. Get the skin in there, I want to avoid that. Think of my pan, my board. I have some garlic that I'm going to add in here. This is like my, my personal mirepoix, my trinity of, of aromatic vegetables that I like to do in all of my cooking, which is garlic, ginger, and, uh, and some type of onion, whether it's green onion, shallots. And uh, so I'm going to slice up some garlic right here. And... No, not yet. So. No, it's not on. All right, now we've got the garlic in the pan. Hi, Pia. Hi. Yeah, you going to dance for us today? Yeah. What? <laughs> it's her day off. It's her day off. When you're a celebrity, you know, days off. We yeah. have all types. We have performers, you know, singers, yes, arts everything. and crafts, everything. Nutrition. Now, now, we're going to get some ginger in here. And this is going to be the base. 
That's gonna add now, what's the this flavor. One here? This is gonna our shallots, our ginger and garlic. No, but what's it? Uh, is that for the uh, salmon? For the, no, for, for the rice. For the rice. Okay. All right. Boom. Now let me get this on. Let me get some oil in here. All right. And once this sautés over a few minutes, we're gonna add the rice. We're gonna add coconut milk, and voila, it's done. All right. Just like that. So. Well, I'm gonna, doing that. I'm gonna put this off. Let me clear the board. I'm gonna get another pan because we're about Who to make some sandwiches. Who else is joining salmon. us here, honey? Right. We got a second chance. Our eggplant is cooking. Going the Eggplant's on the grill. It's looking delicious. All right. I'm gonna set this up over here. Inga says, finally got a second chance to tune in. Keep it going. Love seeing you two prepping healthy oh, meals. Thank you, Inga. <laughs> Thank you. Inga's from Brooklyn. Boop, boop. Oh, oh, Inga, Brooklyn girl. So, we got our jerk seasoning again. We got some beautiful salmon, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm gonna start heating up my cast iron pan back here. Um, do you want me to stir this up for you? No, no, just okay, let it, just uh, let it simmer. Let it heat. Let it heat for a second. I'm gonna get this pan going. Mmm, them chilies is good. Getting hot. I'm getting my cast iron pan So baby, hot. for those that are just joining us, tell them about our signature drink for the yes, day. Yes, so today we made a ginger rum punch. Ooh, smell that. We made a ginger rum punch. We made a little bit of a, a little bit of hibiscus syrup that we made a few weeks in a row uh, for some color. We did a ginger syrup with our swerve. We added some uh, orange and mango seltzer and then rum. Now the swerve we used today, which one was it? Because I know Pammy was asking about the swerve. There's three types there's of swerve. There's three types of swerve. So there's a regular granulated sugar swerve That's that you kind of right. use like sugar. There's a confectioner sugar, it's powdered, mm -hmm. and that you would use like in your whipped cream, mm -hmm. uh, something like that, where you don't want the, the granular sugar. And then they also have a brown sugar that works pretty much just like brown sugar. It browns it, you can brulee with it. Um, you can glaze with it, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you can make capirinhas with it, all is right? It, is it raw? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So, we have our aromatics cooking. That's smelling really, really, really mm -hmm. good. Smell it on it. Our cast mm -hmm. iron pan is working over here. We have our salmon fillets to these again. Now we're just going to dab a little bit of our jerk marinade. You know I'm barbaric, baby. <laughs> All right, a little bit more. Thank yes. you, my love. Perfect. So we want to get those. And then we're going to make a little honey. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. We're going to make a little honey jerk glaze to balance out that spicy. But hey, if you like us and you like it spicy, you don't even need the honey. All right, so our aromatics are starting to saute. Get some nice caramelization, some nice color. We don't want it to brown or burn. We don't want the garlic to burn. I'm going to add that wonderful cauliflower rice that my love made. Yeah, so you can see how it's going to be pretty easy to do and wait till he adds in that coconut milk in there. It's going to make all the difference. All right. Now, we've talked about coconut milk before. When you buy coconut milk, you want to make sure that when you read the ingredients, the, the first ingredient should be coconut milk. All right. Um, you don't like if, if it says coconut extract or coconut water, guar gum. A lot of coconut milks aren't actually coconut milk. They're like I, they're, like I said, they're coconut water, coconut extract, and they thicken them with guar gum. So for keto, we want fat, we want healthy fats, and that's what coconut provides. So you want full fat coconut milk. You want to check the ingredients to make sure that the first ingredient in there is coconut milk. Otherwise, it's not. So what happens if it's not? So, well, a few things. You're not going to get the, the actual healthy fats that you're looking for from coconut milk because it's just coconut water. Um, it, it probably will have some hidden carbs and some sugars that you don't know about because it's just coconut water, coconut extract, and other things that are that are thickened together with guar gum. So you want to make sure that, that it's definitely coconut milk. Or we can make our own coconut milk. Well, yes, you can. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little cumbersome and, and, you know, so it's not something that you really would do. It's much easier to go to the store and just buy a can. There's plenty of products out there. There's plenty of um, brands that are 100% coconut milk. But making your own coconut milk means cutting open coconuts, pureeing the, uh, the meats, Got and it. that then becomes okay. coconut milk. More by Barrett, right? <laughs> How we like it. All right, so 
You know, all you have to do is look at cauliflower and it's cooked. So we're gonna add our full fat coconut milk in here. Get in there. Yum. We're gonna heat this through, and as soon as it's heated through fully, it is pretty much done. So the consistency is gonna be a little bit different then. Yeah, I mean it's, it's, it's a it's a base. coconut rice, so it's gonna be you know a little mushy, a little wet, have that nice okay. tropical flavor, okay. and it's also gonna evaporate a little bit. And it's gonna come together. I'm gonna set this off over on my grill to keep cooking. And we're gonna jump on to our, our oh, that's hot. No, in a second. So, we got our pan over here, our cast iron pan, nice and hot for our fish. All right? When you get your fish, you wanna dry it really good. When you get your fish, you wanna dry it really good because that's gonna help the skin crisp up. All right, and oil and water don't mix. You want to make sure that your that your fish is nice and dry before you get into your pan. I got my cast iron pan smoking here. All right, and I'm gonna get our pieces of salmon. Ginger, ginger. Isn't that delicious? All right, beautiful. So. Salmon is shearing off. You want to say hi to the world? Yes. Come on. This is the best part of our show. Come on. All right, our coconut milk, our coconut rice over here is similarly Mira, cooking. I need you to taste it, baby. Give me a spoon. Say hi to everyone. There's a million people watching. Hi. Hi. Say happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we got our coconut rice. Mm. You like that? It is good. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. All right, we got our salmon searing off. Yes, our salmon. It's going to be delicious done. when you make it. Yes. It's going to be just as good. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm. And Shade, yes, mm. make that cauliflower rice, girl. Let us know how it turns out. And if you Please. have leftovers, freeze it. Use it for another day. <laughs> Please. You want to drink, Alicia? No, thank you. So, I want to taste it. You want to taste a drink? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn my fish over. Get it cooking on the other side. Share coffee I don't care. I'm ready for some more of um. Yeah. All right, Ooh, that smells good. That jerk smells spicy. I can feel it in the air. Now, our fish is cooking. Our eggplant is ready to come off the grill. So let me get a different set of tongs for that. Let's see who's joining us here. Oh, thank you, Shade. Uh, yes. I have a lot of beautiful grandchildren. <laughs> okay, so what Jose is taking there, um, the eggplant out to the grill. What? Really pretty. Anyone has any questions? Let's engage. <laughs> Yeah, I chopped it. I thought so. And I darkened it. Emily Martinez, thank you. Thank you for joining us. I've seen you, yes, commenting a few times. Thank you, I appreciate your support as well. So here's our grilled jerk eggplant. And they smell so good. Our salmon is cooking. Our coconut rice is ready. I'm about to get a refill for my baby's drink. Yes, please. I'm waiting. And we are about, Patiently, anxiously waiting. about ready to taste. I'm going to finish cooking this off over here so I can make my honey jerk glaze. Yeah. All right, so. You want to cover it up? No, because I don't want to have a flare up with that, with that heat. Yeah. Now. You got ice, mommy? Is it? You got ice, baby? Oh, my baby, I can. I'm tasting it, is it? You got ice? Yes, no. I just put ice. What's the I just added ice in my class. Oh, right, let's go. Alexa, do you need a drink? She's over there. Oh, crazy. You want it spicy, right? Yeah. You want it spicy. 
I got a bag. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, now. It's a dog. What is in there? We're about to make this honey glaze very quickly. Baby, can you tell them again? I don't know. I think Inga just joined us. And Emily joined us. That's disgusting. Um, so let us let them know about the uh, signature drink for the day. Yes, it's our ginger rum punch. We made a, a little bit of a of our hibiscus syrup, a ginger syrup. We used some Hi, mango. Hi, Jenny. Besito, Mama. Thank some you for mango seltzer. Tengo la familia. All right. How you doing, Jenny? We made some mango seltzer and also some orange seltzer and then, of course, the rum. I'm going to use a little bit of honey in here. Like I said, it's about 17 grams of, uh, of carbs and a tablespoon of pretty much any uh, sugar, honey, agave, um, regular white granulated sugar. So, and just a little bit of water. I make a little rum, honey glaze. Mmm. You gonna add rum in there? No, no. Oh. Did I say rum? Yes. <laughs> I'm drunk. You had me, and then I'm like, she like, I'm like that's yeah, you can add some really rum in good. here. <laughs> the more the merrier. Let's add some rum. <laughs> make it fun. Let's add some rum. Yes. Let's make it fun. Woo! There you go. So. There we go. Let's mm. flambe our rum. All right, cook out the alcohol and part that flavor. So there See you the go. See the flames, Alexis? Mm -hmm. You can just make recipes as you go. That's the beauty of cooking. Be creative. Mm. Why not? Mm. <laughs> that tastes good. That tastes good. I don't know why I didn't think of that. See, I'm not, I, I, I'm not gave, a woman. I gave you the idea <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> I'm not a woman. I'm just a man. Now, we have our eggplant. Sam is ready. Mm. We're about Ooh. to plate up. Yes. Oh my God. Alexis, you got to try that. All right. It's hot. It's hot. It's spicy and hot. Let me serve up some of your coconut rice. So how long does it have to stay on the heat, baby? All right. I'm going to pull these salmon off. Woo. So we just added a new ingredient, <laughs> which was rum, right? To your uh -huh. own I'm going to put a little bit of uh, this uh, eggplant Ooh, in here. Great. Nice little grilled eggplant. So we have our honey, we have our, our jerk salmon, our jerk eggplant for the vegans. We have our cauliflower, co our coconut cauliflower rice. Excuse my piano. And then. We have a little bit of this uh, rum, <laughs> impromptu rum, jerk, honey, Ooh. glaze that we're just going to spoon over on the top of that. Delish. All right, Delish. now it is tasting time. Yes. Give us a spoon, mommy. Yes. So with the salmon. Yes, blend it all in there. Temperature hot. Well, it's cool out here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come here, Alex. Come, Come here, Alex. So you can try it. Get some. <laughs> the hat. Oh, wow. So good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's really good. This is delicious, guys. <laughs> I hope really you guys good. do. Who's ready for that, right? Wine. I was not. For sure. All right. Because in my mind, I'm like, you like salmon? I'm not going to work with fish. it, but that's yes, really that's good. Really good. Yeah. Now, baby, what else do we have for them? Ceviche. We have the ceviche. Yes, that we've been. Um, Hold up, you want to really taste the eggplant, baby? Yes, thing. You see how wet it is? Ew. Ew. I hope he didn't. I hope he was. Yeah, he was just cut off. <laughs> Bite it. Mm, did our YouTube cut off? Yes. All right, so that's lost. We're live on Facebook. We'll have to upload this on YouTube. The beauty of cooking live. Here, my love, come. Ya no se puede hacer nada. How is that? The coconut rice, I know. You can really taste the coconut, the flavor. And it's so good. So I don't miss it being like that grainy rice feel. It tastes delicious just like that. Really Love good it. job, baby. Totally. All right, really let's, get, let's get our ceviche. Get we're going to martini glasses. Yeah. We're about to taste our ceviche. 
I wrap this up. Because, mmm. Double up. You guys want to oh, taste? Oh. Yeah, yeah, please. Pass it around and we're going to get you some more here. All right, so hold on one second. I'm going to go ahead and get our martini glasses yes, for the baby. ceviche. Yes, baby. The ceviche out the fridge. Now, that salmon, that coconut rice is delicious. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's all I can say. That was good. The family's tasting it. My baby got our glasses. Nice and frosty, the way you asked. Damn. Like it, kids? You like it? Yes. It's good. Mm. Now, mommy can make it for you. So you have to have the kids try good. new things too. See, they're over there enjoying it. Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now we're back with our ceviche. Everybody right? wants some. <laughs> <laughs> we're back with our ceviche. You want some too, Booby? <laughs> oh, baby. I'm feeding the big one over here, too. Mama. Feeding so, mama. we got fresh spoons. We got our seafood Ooh. ceviche. It's got avocado, cucumber, cilantro, mint, red onions, ginger, lemon, orange, and lime zest and juice, some pink Himalayan salt, black pepper. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Still waiting on Abby. <laughs> um, Layla took the plate inside with her. So. Oh, see, that's a good thing. <laughs> when the grandkids take the food hostage, all right? So we like to serve our ceviche in a chilled martini glass just because we think it's sexy and uh, and it keeps it nice and cold for your guests. Set this off here to the side. Okay, so. You can garnish this with either a little sprig of mint. This is the regular ceviche with the halibut, and then this one is the uh, vegan one. Vegan right? one with the hearts of palm. You can garnish it with a little bit of mint or a little bit of cilantro. We have some spoons here. Let me get a spoon. Yeah, baby. Get a couple of spoons. Yep. And. Let's dive in, baby. Yes. I want to try the halibut one. That's what I want to get. Guys, this is yummy. Mm -hmm. I don't even miss the shrimp. You know how some mm -hmm. ceviche has shrimp? The halibut just works perfect. So good. That's it. That's just ceviche dance, baby. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. Let's mm -hmm. get another one. We go through spoons and paper towels like crazy yeah. here. apparatus come from you want to join the party hold up let, let him be oh he is a bee yeah <laughs> literally literally <laughs> listen guys thank you so much for joining us this week on keto cooking with love it's let's been an see. absolute pleasure yes let's see who's here Having that wants to know anything uh caribbean wants to engage beats. have any questions yeah, but we, we just did so baby start from the beginning yes let's recap and then we can end on it that was our caribbean feast yes Ooh, we had our ginger ginger rum punch that we spiced up with some habaneros we did muddled ginger we did some habaneros we did a little bit of hibiscus syrup with some color a ginger syrup to impact you know to compound that flavor we use orange seltzer mango seltzer and then of course some rum the mangoes down below the, the menu the mango the down me <laughs> <laughs> no more drinking for you my love the menu's it's down me. below all right we have our ceviche here tropical ceviche we did it both ways we did it vegan and we did it for our fish lovers. We have our halibut, is our white fish that we use today. We use whatever kind of white firm fish you prefer. Um, and then we use hearts of palm for the vegan. They both have lemon, orange, and lime zest and juice. Ginger, cilantro, mint, red onion, and of course some chilies. They're absolutely delicious. And then 
We did some Jamaican jerk. We bought some store bought uh, Walker Wood Jamaican jerk seasoning. We did some Jamaican jerk eggplant, some uh, salmon, and then a cauliflower rice pilaf, which is a which seems to be very popular with the fan with the family. So that's it. I think we have that's our that's our, our facial expressions just says everything. <laughs> that's our Caribbean face. Thing. That's vegan. This is so good. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is the one with the halibut. Okay. Yeah. So, this is fish, okay, that's vegan. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> there you go. All right, just that simple. And the time that you watch this show, you can make all these real recipes with your family that's from right. scratch. Guys, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you for it's joining us. It's been an amazing again. week. Yes. We look Enjoy forward to see you next day week. And week. Next week, we have our Halloween episode, so you want to tune oh. in for that. <laughs> it's going to be scary good. We love you. Be beautiful. Peace. Peace, my loves. <laughs> love you. Adios amigos, enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon and check us out next Sunday.